right no introduction today just getting straight into it hi welcome back to the channel thanks for clicking on day five i'm so proud of you thanks for showing up and um, we're gonna start straight away with a jog let's jog come jog with me so jogging on the spot to just increase the heart rate get the blood flowing heart pumping ready for today's workout today's workout is going to be i don't want to say more chilled so we're definitely still going to work but we're just doing 30 seconds of exercise with 20 seconds rest it's a full body workout so it is going to be a little bit sweaty a little bit a little bit of effort but um yeah just a slightly different than the previous ones we've done so jogging on the spot and then some leg swings so you can hold on something just for a bit of balance uh, doing some leg swings so when you're doing these i want you to be really careful not to arch your lower back when you bring your leg back it's tempting to kind of stick out your booty as you swing the leg back because that can uh, increase your range of movement switch onto the other leg that can increase your range of movement but that'll actually just strain the lower back so you want to keep a nice tight core as you swing the leg and just kind of isolate the movement in just that leg so dynamic stretches and rest. Now we're gonna do some hip openers. So bring the knee up in front of you and then turn it out to the side. Try and keep your shoulders pointing forward. So facing straight forward. So you're not moving your upper body with this. Again, we're just isolating the movements of the leg, opening up the hips, alternating as we go. And we're gonna stretch down to do a hamstring stretch. So holding just between uh, your legs. So holding your calves, we're gonna bend down and get back up, feeling the stretch through the hamstrings as we do so. And then you can just sway around here in this position. Again, stretching the hips and the adductors. All right, while we're kind of chilling here, stretching the hamstrings, move as you feel, um, I'm just going to show you the move that we'll start with. So we're going to start off with some side skips. So skipping from side to side, touching the ground in between, squatting down, squatting back. That'll be for intermediates and advanced. For beginners then, we're doing a very similar movement. We're just walking through it. So instead of the skip, we are stepping through that movement. Ready to go, and go. So skipping from side to side, coming down nice and low, tapping the ground, trying to keep it quick and dynamic, um, light on your feet, making sure that your weight is going through your heels or the mid foot rather, and just landing nice and softly. I don't want you on your tiptoes or on the front of your foot so that all your weight is going forward through the knees. I want you to kind of sit back with it and think of it as kind of like a squatting position when you're tapping the floor. And rest, well done. Then we're gonna do some lunges. So we'll do some reverse lunges. So just stepping back, um, uh, for intermediates, for advanced, we're actually going to jump up. So doing some lunge jumps. Uh, beginners doing the reverse lunge, but just a smaller range of movement. So don't feel the need to overstep and go. So stepping back, weight through the heels and back up. For the advanced, what I want you to do is to simply jump up off that front leg. So we're just doing the one leg at a time. Try and be as powerful and, ex and as explosive as you can. Um, it might be a little tricky to get your balance, which is why this is an advanced move. For the rest of us, we're just stepping back, still getting a really good workout in the quads, hamstrings and glutes, keeping good posture, good form and rest for 20 seconds well done then we're gonna do the same but on the other leg so again with the advance really jumping up nice and high driving through the opposite knee beginners lunging back but just with a smaller range of movement so as not to overextend ready and go make sure the chest stays up intentionally squeezing the muscles as you stand back up Keeping your balance, you should be able to wiggle your toes of the front leg because the weight is going through the heel. Advance, trying to get as much height as on that as you can. I know that your legs will feel like jelly. I'm right here with you, you're doing so well. Keep going. And rest, well done. Next, we're going to come down onto all fours in the plank position for a plank and twist. So knee coming through to the opposite elbow and beginners, we're just walking through with a simple high knee. 
so on the floor hands below shoulders and go so bring your knee in front of you and to the side getting a slight twist as you bring that leg back you're really extending the leg up and back getting a nice glute squeeze at the top that's for intermediate and advanced for beginners just walking through holding a good plank position core nice and tight but feeling the weight of your body in the arms doing really well keep going and rest well done and we're going to do that on the other side so um, bringing the other leg forward beginners uh, you're repeating marching through that movement ready go so extend the leg up and back a nice glute squeeze and you bring the knee through towards the opposite elbow so getting a bit of oblique action keeping a nice core uh, a nice tight core rather you're doing really well keep going i know your body's going to be starting to feel a little bit heavier now only 10 more seconds just a few more and rest well done Cool, so the last exercise of this set will be the kick and skip. So standing up, kicking alternate legs as high as you can. Beginners, we are walking through a high knee movement. And go. So hands up in front of you as a target and just kick out the leg up in front of you skipping as you go you can keep a, keep a slight bend at the knee that's okay and um, you can bring your hands up a bit higher if you want to kind of uh, test your flexibility there but whatever's comfortable within your range of movement beginners we're just walking through that high knee still keeping good posture arms up above the head and rest well done and um, so we've got a two minute break now you can grab a drink Grab a drink, um, stretch if you need to, leave me a comment letting me know how you're finding this plan, what variations you're doing, how your day has been. I just love hearing from you guys. I'm so grateful for you. Um, someone said in the comments the other day that they don't mind my weirdness on the voiceovers. So I've low-key taken that as permission to be as weird as I want, okay? So you're welcome. We're, we're all winners here, right? <laughs> um, Speaking of weird, I just thought of a funny story to tell you, although it's not that funny, so lower your expectations. But um, did you know that I like grew up doing Jane Fonda's new workout videos, like back in the day with VCR? It's not even a new workout, like it was literally from the 1980s, but my mum had the videos and I used to do them like all the time when I was like, I don't know, six, seven. And it's just crazy. And now like when I when you guys send me videos of you working out with me, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's crazy. This is actually what I've always loved doing. So thank you <laughs> for letting me do this with you. Um, anyway, <laughs> the next move that we're gonna go into will be the side skips. Um, so skipping from side to side. I should up my outfits though, really, shouldn't I? I should try and dress more like Jane Fonda in 1982. But until then, um, we'll do some side skips. So beginners walking through the movement. Ready? And go. Skipping from side to side, light on your feet, feeling like a bit of a ninja, just a bit of a ninja. Try and move it as quickly as you can, but while keeping good form. And when I say good form, I mean that it's nice and controlled. You're not kind of losing your balance or falling all over the place and rest well done moving on to lunges so one leg at a time reverse lunge uh, advanced doing lunge pops so jumping up driving through the opposite knee beginners doing reverse lunge but with a smaller range ready and go keeping the chest up weight through the heels 
driving the arms, especially on the advanced movement, you really want to drive the arms to get as much height as you can as you take off from the leg. The leg going back for the advanced movement is more just to balance you than anything else. You're not fully coming down into that lunge position and rest. 15 more seconds and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg because you've got to make both cheeks even. Fun fact, that line is from a Pilates video that I used to do, one of my mum's Pilates videos that I did growing up, but that's a boring story. And go! Really feeling the burn in the quads, the glutes. Lunges are low-key one of my favourite leg exercises. They're just so wholesome. Like, is there a muscle group that they don't target? Like, leg-wise? But anyway, keep going. Doing really well. Just a few more, nearly there. And rest. Well done. Coming down onto our arms again for plank and twist. Beginners just marching through that extended arm plank position. Ready and go. So bring the leg back behind you, getting a nice glute squeeze at the top, and then bring it in front of you, twisting so that the knee comes to the opposite elbow. We're not overarching the lower back when we bring that leg back behind us. We're only moving within our current range of flexibility. So if you feel like you have to arch your lower back in order to get the leg further, you've gone too far and rest. Take 20 and then we're coming back onto our arms to do the other leg. How are you feeling? Good, we're nearly there, there's only, only a few more left. And go. Keep going, you're doing really well. I know it's crazy how heavy your body can suddenly start to feel in the arms. That's okay, keep moving, you're getting stronger with every move. And rest, well done. And we're gonna finish off this workout with some kick and skips. So back up on our feet, beginners walking through high knees, keeping good posture, shoulders down, core tight, knees coming all the way up and go. So skipping from leg to leg, kicking the leg up so that you kind of touch your hands, just use your hands more as a guide and a target, and also you'll you'll know when you're slipping because your, your hands will start to fall, but try and keep them at the same height as they were when you started. Doing really well, keep going, just a few more, give it your best before we finish. And you did it, we done did it. Well done for surviving day five. Oh, I'm so, so proud of you guys. I'm glad to be doing this with you. I will see you back here tomorrow. Same place, same time. Bye.